Elon Musk recently had a really successful trip to China and Tesla fans, Tesla investors are rejoicing because Baidu is going to partner with Tesla on lane navigation and mapping services. That being said, though, I want to talk about Tesla's FSD, their full self-driving vehicles. The reality is they're not really fully self-driving. So for autonomous vehicles, so vehicles that could simply drive themselves, no human is even necessary. You don't even need a steering wheel or a gas pedal or anything like that. Under any circumstance, it drives itself. That is level five of autonomous driving, right? Now, Tesla's full self-driving, the FSD, that is level two. So we're not even close to being there. And I think it's actually, if not irresponsible, a little bit misleading on Tesla's end to call it full self-driving because it's still very much a driver-assisted technology. Yes, the system does control the steering and it does control acceleration, deceleration, but the human has to remain engaged, right? He or she is the one responsible for the vehicle. So it's not truly autonomous driving. And if you've been following this channel, you know that I'm a fan of Elon Musk. You know that I have been an investor in Tesla, I continue to be an investor. And so I'm happy to see it climb like 30% in the past couple of days. But the reality is I am not as bullish as everybody else on the situation. And something that I think about is the election. We have an upcoming election here in the United States. And you have to remember that Tesla at the end of the day is still an American company, even though it's based in Texas, which is kind of America. But think about this. If in the next election, Trump becomes president, what's going to happen with the relationship between the U.S. and China? Are there going to be restrictions as far as how much Tesla can collaborate in China even do business in China or collaborate with a Chinese company? How much data is going to be shared between Baidu and Tesla? Is there even demand there on the human side as far as paying for all of this technology? What are going to be the costs associated with it? Is it going to be a tremendous liability? I'm sure that lawyers are paying very close attention, but so are regulators. Regulators are also paying very close attention. And so personally, I feel like there's going to be a lot of politics at play here. And if you know anything about politics, it's the most dirty aspect of business that you can get into. And Tesla, Elon Musk, they will have to play politics. And it is a vicious Vicious, vicious game. So I'm not as excited as everybody else is, but I'm paying very close attention because you know I'm neck deep in artificial intelligence and autonomous driving. It's all about AI. Tesla has been preparing this for like a decade by collecting all the data, all the sensors. They've been working on this technology for so long, which puts them ahead of all the other U.S. automakers that might be eyeing or have a goal of autonomous driving. But I still think that we're really far away from that actually happening, even though full self-driving is the term that Elon Musk and Tesla are using. And honestly, remember, even though I absolutely love Elon Musk and I think he's absolutely brilliant and revolutionized so many industries, he has a tendency to say things and give a timeline that is simply impossible to adhere to. So those are just my thoughts, but I want to hear from you. What do you think about this Tesla and Elon Musk situation? If you're an investor, are you excited? Are you cautiously optimistic? Or are you thinking this is a lot of buzz and I should probably be pulling out my investment around this time? I wanna hear from you guys. And I really appreciate you guys. If you watch this to this point, it means you watch the video in its entirety and just listen to me ramble on for minutes upon minutes. So I appreciate you all. Stay tuned for more AI style content and I will see all of you in the next video.